Have you guys ever heard of this old world tech called uh, tensor rings? It's really cool. It's like based off of measurements from like the pyramids and whatnot, like the old time cubits, some of the wonders around the world, whatnot. Anyway, take copper wire, twist it, creates a tensor field. The different size measurements create different megahertz that the tensor field puts off. So for instance, this one puts off 144 megahertz. Um, there's one that does like 177, 188, uh, 333, so on and so forth. Uh, you can do it in the full size, you can do it in the half size, you can do it in the quarter size, and they all put off that frequency. You can stack them inside of each other like this, the different um, size rings, and they magnify each other. Um, there's like a lot of stuff that goes into these. It's really cool, and I have difficulty explaining all the science-y stuff behind it. So I'm going to roll a few clips for you so you can see um, they'll explain better the science behind these things. But some of the benefits I've enjoyed from these things since I started making them is... Um, I was having a horrible uh, neck pain, like my knot right here was just like just clenching and, and knotting up on me. It was so painful the other day. I grabbed this little thing because it's supposed to be good for pain and whatnot and put it on top just like directly over it and the pain just like s slowly came down and then just completely quit and it was amazing and I was so happy. <laughs> um, the other day my husband comes home from work, he'd had um, heartburn all day. So anyway, I had him put this on and within 20 minutes of wearing it right over his heart where it was hurting, it like quit, the pain was gone. Um, my neighbor has horrible arthritis. So I made him one of these, no, I made him two of these big ones and he wears them over his leg, uh, right over his knee while he sleeps. And he told me that his pain in his knees has gone drastically down since then. So um, anyway, yeah, I've just been having fun playing with these, experimenting with them. Um, I don't know to what extent they will help with different whatevers, but I've just been having fun playing with them. And I thought it was something maybe you should know about and you should start looking into. And you can make some for yourself and play with them and see what they do for you. We've created a room temperature superconducting device with a tensor field or energy field here in the center. The rings are a discovery we made in 1991. And we found that when we join the ends of a piece of wire together, uh, preferably it's been twisted so we don't have a positive and a negative side. With the twist we have only positive energy coming from the ring. And this may pick up on the camera uh, to show the, the tensor field in the center of the ring which is the active part. And what we can't see or can't show on video is the fact that there's a beam of energy that comes from the ring. Um, the tensor rings are based on sacred measures. They're very specific measurements that come from places like the different pyramids, um, sacred sites around the world. Um, the tensor fields in the lab, they make water lighter in weight in the lab. They bring water to its original crystalline structure, which I work with some gals who wrote Dancing with Water, The New Science of Water. And in their second edition of that book, they're showing that the tensor fields do bring water to its original crystalline structure. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Philip Callahan. Um, Philip Callahan did studies on the tensor rings as well. And this is a quote from him. Uh, tensor rings exhibit a paramagnetic value many times greater than anything ever tested. This means the tensor rings cause some of the elements in water to spin to their high spin rate, referred to as ORM, which is orbitally rearranged monatomic elements. Um, so it's basically cre creating ORMIS out of your water. Uh, so the, the tensor rings do something similar with electromagnetics. Now we did some uh, biofeedback studies because as far as scientific instruments that can pick up the tensor rings. There's only one thing out there that we've seen that is gaseous discharge visualization, GDV photoimaging. We've seen that you can take a GDV of a magnet and see the magnetic lines. You can put a tensor ring around that magnet and it negates the magnetic lines within that ring. So that proves that it is a room temperature superconductor. Um, I spoke at the Tesla Technology Convention on that a few years ago. But we did the biofeedback studies with our cell phone rings. Now, what these guys are doing is they are drawing in all that harmful energy and they're transmuting it. They're changing it into something beneficial. So the biofeedback studies did exactly what we saw was occurring, was that it, uh, it aligns your chakras, it makes your organs function better uh, when you use a ring on your phone than if you had no phone or no ring at all. So it's pretty amazing stuff to repurpose that energy. Um, the tensor rings where they work with electromagnetics, they work also with geomagnetics, so geopathic stress lines, um, EMFs, uh, portal vortexes, all those kind of things are cleared with the tensor fields.